With so much streaming content to choose from, it's becoming increasingly difficult to stand out from the crowd. Your show has to hook people right from the start and keep them glued to their seats till the very end. One recent show that's managed to do just that is Sushmita Sen's comeback series, Aria. It's getting rave reviews all around and people are thrilled to see the beauty queen back in action. Joining her on the journey is New York-based actor Ankur Bhatia, who plays her brother on screen. There's a lot that has resonated in Aria with the audience just globally because ultimately no matter where you come from geographically or your family background or your relationships family is a key factor for everyone um, relationships are a key factor and of course then the added element of courage and, and human relentlessness for lack of another word you know you keep going when you you put in a spot there are people who give up and then there are people who stand up to the occasion and accept whatever destiny has in store for them. Arya is a celebration of destiny. Do you have to trust me or not, Arya? Are you ready to leave everything with me? Arya is a very good actor. Her acting is very good. He's going to be late again, huh? Come on, guys. Cheers! <laughs> so, Shmita, was this role presented to you how how are you approached uh when they had this this beautiful aria character so um i'd been on the lookout for about 6 months when i decided 6 months prior to uh, getting aria the script that i was ready to come back to cinema and to the craft that i've been absconding for for 10 years now um and everything i read or the scripts i received the people i met the dialogue was on but i was not happy with either the content or the, then the content being made by certain people it had to be a marriage of everything falling into place because when you take such a long hiatus as i have you risk a comeback it's a risk because you can be completely uh denied any more screen time if you make the wrong call I read the name saw the design of Rajasthan behind the name and I said something about it is calling me like it's it's waiting for me you know and I had my first meeting with Ram and Amita Madhvani uh, saw the script had a discussion with them and 5 minutes into the meeting I knew this was it this was a marriage of everything I wanted and what a good call it was guys why is there a gun in the house ye chhota sa afim ka phool kitne logon ki jaan le sakta hai hum log heroin mein deal nahi karte hum illegal dawaiyon ka dhanda karte hain if you don't leave this business i'll divorce you don't talk like that yes you got ankur what about you did you how were you presented the role did you audition for this did you hear about yes yes i was in new york uh, actually in november when i got this call from abhimanyu ray who was our casting director and he and by that time i was you know i was doing a show here in new york and i was not really keen in doing something in december january because of the pilot season out here in the in the states so i told him that you know i'm i'm done playing and he he mentioned that there is a big star associated with the show he was not giving out the name but this time you know i've played husband's part in the past like for the, for the last three films uh, aishwarya rai's husband and shraddha kapoor's husband so i was like kind of frustrated in that boat so i was like i don't want to do it i don't want to be a second fiddle to a very big actor and just be there and he's like no and then he sent me uh, penosa's first episode to watch and i did that and i was completely sold on that episode and like uh, even though the uh, it was not uh, with the subtitles the emotions were so heavy that uh, me and my wife both were watching it and she had tears in her eyes by the end of that sangram's character is um, life affirmingly fantastic compared to the one in penosa and i actually came to know about sushmita playing arya i think two days before my workshop with her so i had no idea i had went to india um thinking that someone would be playing arya and i had known chandrachur singh is associated with the project and other people not sushmita sen that kept it very uh tight <laughs> yeah so I what was like, who is arya <laughs> so when you found out who is arya what was your initial reaction to that i was like really very happy because you know um 
it was like I worked with the Miss World and now it was Miss Universe. So that was there. I mean, I was exci- excited. I've seen these people up there, their inspiration. Um, you know, so that excitement was there. And when I met her, uh, then everything changed because we had a one hour, two hour, uh, a, a good talk uh, before we started the workshop. And uh, we let's just. Not, let's we, not be so polite about it. The <laughs> workshop itself. You see, he was one of the last actors to join the team for the workshop because he came in from New York and we were running out of time. So our teacher, the workshop teacher, who's also a co-director of Arya, his name is Vinod Rawat. He uh, decided there is no time to waste in the pleasantries. Hi, I'm Ankur. Hello, yeah. I'm... Ikhara. We did that for five minutes, I think, but that so was about it. We did that and then yeah. he was, okay, cut all this out. I want you two to behave like brother and sister and have a conversation where after every single sentence or word there must be a Hindi, English, Portuguese, Spanish, whichever language abuse you know just add an abuse and and start the conversation Our man here had no problem with that because he apparently has a whole dictionary full of it I I I lived in hostel, I was in engineering college so you know know. (laughs) Uh, So this is how we broke the ice, I will forever have these bad foul language words um, echoing in my ears every time I look at Sangram because he just went for it. He's you like, know that I'll tell you a funny, uh, a funny thing. So at one point of time, I thought she has become really comfortable with me in five minutes, and I was just going on, but she was in a very like you know amateurish yeah. level over there, and I had crossed my limits in every line. Right after a certain point, I thought, I was oh, maybe I'm wrong. It's not I going that well. <laughs> well. I was like, I can't believe the line. Yeah, she was turning red. Every line she was turning red. And after that, I told Vinod, you know, she'll kick me out of the project. They're actually running an international drug activity. से वो बनो जो तुम हो पंजे बाहर निकालो शेरने की तरह ऐसे दैट्स द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज दैट यू नो यू रियली फील इट एज एन एक्टर आई हैव नेवर फेल्ट लाइक दिस बिफोर यू रियली वर इन द मोमेंट ऑन आई मीन देयर वर टेक्स व्हेन आफ्टर दिस काइंड ऑफ टेक्स दैट वी वर गिविंग आई वुड आस्क हर हाउ डिड यू फील अबाउट इट एंड शी लाइक आई डोंट नो and i was the same i we couldn't tell whether we did good or bad or was it okay or not it was like we were blank i think to add to what ankur is saying um actors are greedy people so usually when you give yeah. a good pitch or have a lovely scene um you tend to be super excited about how fabulous it's turned out and you want to hear that feedback from other people also and 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 you keep waiting for that wah kya shot diya hai you know but with ankur and me and throughout the series actually there was such a uniform sense of being in the moment that no moment stood out for you you never felt like wow that was amazing Don't worry, I'll take care of it. I was looking at the layers in in the script, and all of these other characters are so well developed. Even the the children have their own angst, they have their own issues, and they're dealing with their own problems. I just felt like what an ensemble of well-written characters. Did you feel that way when you were when you were in the midst of it? Oh, absolutely. I did. And I'm yeah, yeah. on the set you would feel she's Arya, the children's are their children. We would joke about uh, after the shooting also it just felt like a family. It was one big family doing this thing I for a long you. period of time. They call me Ma, they don't call me Sushmita. Yeah. I actually yeah. some of them I don't even know their real names. I yeah, actually exactly. come exactly. to know about them after <laughs> they followed me on Instagram and vice versa. Otherwise I knew them from their character name. Ye aatma meri teri ye chan aur mrityu sabhi kya surya aur kya ye sami samay chakra se hi sab chali.
तेरे वश में बस तेरा काम है बस कर्म पर अधिकार है कर्म में ही तेरी शान है कर्म तेरी पहचान है सो यू नो सुष्मिता यू सेड दैट यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट कमिंग बैक टू सिनेमा एम एंड एंड नाउ यू हैव दिस वंडरफुल सीरीज आर यू ग्लैड यू वेंट द सीरीज राउट एंड एंड डिडंट डू अ फिल्म एंड द सीरीज एंडेड अप स्ट्रेट ऑन एन ओटीटी प्लेटफार्म टॉक अबाउट दिस डिफरेंस सिंस द लास्ट 10 इयर्स आई एम थ्रिल्ड um and i say that with great aplomb that um on many levels a i think that this was divine intervention it was things that you can't plan i was not interested in this has to be in theaters as as a film i wanted to come back to the craft i didn't want to come back to the theaters you know so that was very clear to me uh and when i got it finally it turned out to be on an ott platform a platform i'd never been in before and just look at how it works i end up doing a series which gives me satiates me makes me feel confident of uh the fact that after a 10 year break people are going to be happy with okay so she came back with something substantial something with a feeling something that is strong and not regressive um apart from that the lockdown happened and then there were people waiting to consume good content because of the lockdown so that worked out and finally if this were a film friday saturday sunday and our reviews are out people have either loved it or hated it or moved on it's been two weeks and people are still watching the web series yeah. and the reviews are still coming in and people are still loving it and we are now all set to do another season so it's not like um we are uh, it's not like a movie at all it's an ongoing journey it's everything to be grateful for we do have five seasons written for aria based on 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 public response and audiences loving it season wise uh we will have five seasons god willing if not more matki ki mitti se bhi pakki hai aria ji अपनी फैमिली को बचाने के लिए कुछ भी कर सकती तो पहले क्यों संभाला तूने हमारा धंधा क्योंकि पहले धंधा मर्द संभालते थे अब बचे नहीं नाउ आई लाइक ऑफ दिस आर आई थिंक इज हैपन आई जस्ट डोंट फील लाइक शी वाज अवे फॉर 10 इयर्स आई डोंट नो इफ यू फील द सेम इट हैज बीन लाइक लाइक यू नो आई बीन टॉकिंग टू पीपल इट जस्ट फील्स लाइक शी वाज शी वाज राइट देयर यू नो कहते हैं ना ये वो कहते हैं ना दैट इफ यू इफ यू यू नो हाउ टू ड्राइव you you can never like have a problem coming back to driving yeah you know? so this question is for both of you actually would you at this point after the success of season 1 claim that this is a career defining role for both of you could you easily say this is career defining sushmita 110% proudly so and uncle what about you 200% yeah i was i was actually looking <laughs> and waiting for something like that because i'm nowhere close to sangram in real life and you know to play that part it just all my experience of 8 9 years came to like picture i utilized like lots of things and and i think this was a wonderful team i mean it's like they gave so much of liberty to experiment and do things you just felt like a child in a like a play area and you just and i'm so excited because now there's sex season 2 also so we'll get to do again and ankur i have to say you know as someone who has seen you kind of work through this process seen you hustle seen you struggle seen you seen, get seen to this gate point gate crash the festivals right yes gate crash <laughs> the festivals seen you get to this point you know your new york friends and family are very very proud of you so you should really thank you very much Chitin. you should really you. take this with a lot of what a lot of good faith and courage and we're so excited for for season 2 for you guys um thank sushmita you. what was perhaps the most challenging part of getting back in the driver seat what had you forgotten What had you thought? You know what? I haven't done this in so long. How am I going to do this again? Being vulnerable in front of the camera. That probably was the hardest thing for me to do because uh the last time I faced the camera for in a Hindi space uh was no problem back in 2010. Uh and I was on a roll. So, you know, you stay in touch with showing many different aspects of yourself most of the time you're projecting it because you know okay so i got to be sad now so expression 101 to 105 that's your range um but having been away for 10 years and having been through as many life defining experiences that i went through in those 10 years 
I was no longer uh, just an actress with acting experience. I was a woman with a lot of life experience that had added on a lot of depth. And when Arya presented itself to me, uh, allowing that depth to come out in front of a camera in its most vulnerable state, that that took some amount of soul searching because I'm otherwise a very private person. You know, I, I'm not used to being someone who likes um, to even have an expression on my face where people in real life say, Kya hua? Tabhi theek nahi hai? Kya hua? Tumhe kuch ho gaya hai? You know, I, I, I don't like that kind of an environment. I usually like to stay happy and just if I have to give something to people, let it be a happy feeling, not a problematic one. So for me to put all that aside and allow Arya to be vulnerable, um, that took some working. Barosa wahi torte, jin pe barosa kiya jata hai.